One, two, one, two, three. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Emily Jean. I hope you're all having a spectacular day. We've got our coffees. We've got our coffees. Okay, so this has been a heavily requested video. I have done a couple of videos on this, but I feel like it's time to update. It's time to chat a little bit more about tap shoes. So I get a lot of questions about tap shoes. I get a lot of questions about custom versus already built versus cheap versus how much do they cost versus which brand. So I'm going to just kind of go through my um, stash of tap shoes and we'll talk a little bit about why I purchased them, what I think they're good for. I'll also give you some options and I'll throw some pictures up of, um, of less expensive options um, that I think if you're not gonna go with one of these, then you can go with one of the ones that I'm gonna show you. So we're doing an updated tap shoe video. What tap shoes should you buy? But before we get into all of that, click that subscribe button because it'll really support my channel. Okay, so if you're a beginner tap dancer, um, a lot of the times people buy like the basic Capizio high heel, I'll throw a picture here, or the like soft insole tap shoe where you can like go on your toes. I'll show you that here. Um, personally, even if you're a beginner, I don't recommend these because I don't find that they're stable enough on your ankle. They don't give you the support. And also you want a nice heavy base to be able to get your sounds out. With all the people that I've taught from people who've never tap danced before to, to professionals, you want something that's got that hard sole on the bottom because it's going to give you a better chance of making those sounds easier. So if you're a beginner and you're looking to start tap dancing, I would recommend these are the block Jason Samuel Smiths. They also have a couple of different other block options, but with this shoe, it already comes with that double build. So build means how much wood is on the bottom. You can do single, double, triple, all that kind of stuff. It already comes with that double build. They also come non-rubberized, but you can, the shoe comes with rubber and you can have block put the rubber on. It comes with the nice big tap on the front and on the back, and they're pretty bendy for a thick shoe. They're also lined on the inside, so they're very comfortable. You can throw them on. They're not gonna hurt your feet like some of the other shoes that I have if this is your first pair of shoe. They are on the heavier side, but the heavier the shoe, like the better your sounds will come out. And I'm not really sure how to explain that, but you don't want a light shoe because then you're gonna be forcing the sounds to come out. These are not that expensive for a tap shoe. A lot of the tap shoes go for like three, four, five hundred dollars $500. I believe that this is like $199. And if you're a student or a teacher, I do believe you can call them and tell them and they'll give you a discount. So these come in a bunch of different colors. You can get white, blue. They have a couple of like fun colors if you're looking for like a fun shoe that you don't wanna get fully customized. Um, or you can just get standard black. So I would definitely recommend this is Block Jason Samuel Smith. I honestly like would love these in every color. They're a really good shoe to teach in. They're a really good shoe to like find your footing. Um, so I do highly recommend this for beginners, but also if you're professional and you're looking for a colored shoe, that's not custom, this is great because it's only like 200 bucks compared to if you did a custom shoe, it's gonna be five, six, seven hundred dollars So Jason Samuel Smith, block tap shoe. If you're looking for a little bit more of an investment shoe, so say you are a dancer, you're going to college for dance and you're gonna be auditioning, um, this is men or women. I, I know a lot of women in musical theater like to wear high heel tap shoes and we'll talk about that in a second. But for a standard, standard tap shoe, I've had, my black pair since I was 15 and my red pair since like the end of high school. These are the Capizio K360s. Now you can just get them traditional. So you can get them in black. You can tell them that you want the double build and you want taps put on and it's not going to be that much of an extra charge. They do custom leather. So I did a red custom leather. We've got the double build here. Actually, is that a triple build? No, we've got a double build here. I don't like to put rubber on my flats so that I can slide like Jimmy Slad. 
Um, and you've got the nice Capizio two-tone top on the front and the back. Um, the inside is all leather. It's Italian leather. It's really beautiful. So if you're just going to go the traditional route, you could call the Capizio store and you could say, hey, I want a pair of black K360s double build with taps put on. I believe that's going to cost you around $450. Don't quote me specifically. But these shoes last. I mean, like, I've got them taped and I still dance in them. Like, $400 is not a bad investment for how many years you're going to dance in them. Um, if I'm going to compare Capizio to Block, I would say Capizio K360 over Block in terms of if you're a professional and you're looking to invest in a shoe, 1000% the K3s. I love my K360s. Another option for a flat tap shoe is Miller and Ben. Now, Miller and Ben is fun. There, I, I believe that if you did custom colors, it would really be like $300 to $400, which is not that bad. Um, and you can design like the cutouts and all of that kind of stuff, or you can just buy their stock shoes, which do come in colors. So this is the Triple Threat Miller and Ben, and I got it in gold and white. This is a triple build. Do you see how much thicker that is? Again, I did no rubber and I believe one of these supersonic taps. So these taps are really high paying. If you guys watch any of my videos where I compare um, the shoes, you can tell that all the taps just have a different sound based on the build, based on which tap you're using, you know, all of that stuff kind of matters. Um, if you're looking for a fun shoe that uh, won't break the bank, again, this, this is a nice option for um, like a custom shoe because you can pick through their stock stuff, which is nice. I will say, I don't dance in these often. They're very difficult to break in. I would not recommend these if you are a beginner. They will hurt. They're very difficult to get on. I, when I first bought these, I could only dance in them for like 15 minutes. Um, I'll wear them occasionally, but because they, you know, they're really broken in now, but these took years to break in. So, if you're gonna, if you're a beginner, I would go with Block or Capizio as opposed to Miller and Ben. If you're a professional and you're looking for a fun shoe, definitely Miller and Ben is a great option. They also have different styles, not just the triple threat. They have tons of different styles. Um, in the description box below, I'll talk about or I'll list. In the description box below, I will list all the different websites so you can check it out for yourself. But if I'm comparing all three, it would go Capizio as number one, Block as number two, and Miller and Ben as number three. Sticking with Miller and Ben, they also have high heel tap shoes. This is the La Coquette high heel tap shoe. This is, again, this is a double build. So she's high off the ground. They also, I didn't realize, put suede on the bottom, which I find very odd. And like for a month, I was like, why am I slipping so much? It's because it's suede. This should probably be rubber. Um, they've got a nice, I do, what I like about this is the nice thick heel. Again, this took me months to break in, um, and I feel, like, I tap dance a lot, and sometimes I put these on and my ankles roll because I feel unstable in these. So, I mean, they're worn in. I, I, I tend to wear these outside if I'm doing a shoot outside, like I've really scuffed up the heel on the bottom there, or the tap on the bottom there. So this is an option for a heel. Honestly, this is the lowest option. If you're brand new to high heels in tap shoes, I would definitely recommend the Laduca Roxy tap shoe. Um, I will show you that here. I have a bunch of those that are all in my closet, but I would recommend that because it's not a high heel and there's no build. So you can really stay solid to the ground. Um, I would definitely recommend for beginners who are transitioning from flats to heels, those. Also, I will say the Laduca Roxy Tap Shoe is just like a classic. You're going to wear it all the time for auditions, so you might as well invest in that. I believe that those are two to three hundred dollars and you can ask to get the taps put on it. What I've done with Laduca is this. I actually have made my own like kind of custom tap shoe with Laduca. This is the Angelique character shoe. So it's a hard sold character shoe. It's not the soft sold like they sell. And I asked them to put a double build on the bottom. Now the builds at Laduca's are much smaller than all the other companies. So I did a double build on the bottom, rubber, and then I had them tap it. I love how thick that heel is. This is also a three inch. So again, if you're transitioning into a high heel shoe, I'd recommend the Roxy because it's a shorter heel. If you're good, if you feel good in high heels, 
This shoe, because it's tapered, is so tight on my ankle, and I also love the T-strap part of it, that I feel like I am so secure when I'm dancing in these. These are also, it's the same design as my sparkly ones. Um, these are just sparkled, and this I just painted red. Um, so you can go into Leduca and say, I want the Angelique, I want a double build and I would like taps and rubber put on and they'll do all of that for you, which I think is really great. Um, for years I've been dancing in these and I really, really like them. So I would say if you've already been dancing in heels, do this. Um, it's not much of a, of a difference between the Roxy and the Angelique. Um, if you're new to high heel tap dancing, I'd recommend the Roxy LaDuca shoe. The other option that you can do, again, if you're wanting to invest in your shoes, if you are a professional tap dancer, um, we, we order custom tap shoes for our wedding. So this is by Capizio. This, I honestly don't know the name of this shoe. They have like a book where you can look through different designs. Um, so I did this shoe because it's tapered at the toe and it's tapered up here. The biggest issue I have with tap shoes is my ankles falling out. So I always want it to be tight around my ankle and I wanted it sort of, you know, like that Oxford classic Fred and Ginger look. Um, I'll say custom Capizio tap shoes can get up there depending on what colors you're doing. We've got a double build here. I had to put rubber on, you know, it's uh, it can really get up I mean, you can go as high as two, three thousand dollars, depending on what you're doing. So in that instance, definitely take the time to customize exactly what you want. The thing that I'm going to say about this, though, is that these shoes will last you a lifetime, especially also, too, if you take care of them. So those are the options for high heels. So if none of those are options for you and you're looking to be like under $200, you can also do Capizio has their version of the Roxy shoe. I'm going to put it here. So this comes in black and it's their like less expensive version. Um, and this is perfect. Again, it's because it's got that hard sole. Uh, I do see a lot of people do that, like that soft middle sole, but I don't really recommend that. I recommend like a nice thick tap shoe. It's just going to make your sounds better and it's going to give you more stability on the floor. So you can do the Roxy Capizio shoe. I believe that's $180. Let me see. I've got my little computer out here. Let me see if there's any other options as I go through their website. Yeah, honestly, that's the only one I would recommend from Capizio that's less than $200. Let's look at block. The Jason Samuel Smith tap shoes that I showed you, those are $243. And if you're a student or a teacher, I believe you get a discount so you can call Capizio before you order. I do believe with LaDuca for the men's shoes, any of the character hard sole shoes, I believe you can turn into tap shoes. You would just have to talk to them to decide whether or not you want um, rubber or no rubber for the flat character shoes for LaDuca to turn into tap shoes. Yeah, so those are really all the options. There are a couple of other tap shoe companies um, that I haven't tried personally. Um, so again, if you're looking not to break the bank, I would recommend the Capizio Roxy tap shoe that's under $200. The next level up from that would be the Jason Samuel Smith The Lock tap shoes. And then if you're gonna go ahead and invest in your shoes, I would do the K360 tap shoe by Capizio. I would do the Roxy high heel shoe from LaDuca or the Angelique custom LaDuca tap shoe. Um, so those are all of the kind of options in terms of tap shoes. Um, please leave any questions down below. I get a lot of questions about tap shoes, so I'm so happy to keep talking about them and keep comparing them and getting your feedback, getting your opinions on all of that. I hope you all enjoyed this updated tap shoe video. If you did, please click that subscribe button because it'll really support my channel and I will see you all in the next video.